This morning, get ready to receive from God like never before and be prepared for an experience of God's favor and mercy. This is Mercy Moments with Pastor Shola Oshuma Kinde. be glorified in our lives. Thank you, Jesus. Blessed be your name. Fill us, Lord. Hallelujah. Wherever you are, lift up your hands and just worship him. Oh, say thank you, Lord. Say, Lord, let your name be glorified in my life. Blessed be your name. We worship you. We thank you. All praise to you in Jesus' name. Welcome to Messy moment on a beautiful Monday morning. I'm Shalom Shumaki Day. Jesus is Lord. Hallelujah. This morning again, let's consider something from God's word that will lead us into prayers. <laughs> Hallelujah. I want us to pray about something very crucial this morning, and that is to ask God for divine help or divine helpers. There's a limit to which you can go by yourself. There is a story I love to read from God's word of a king that excelled mightily by the name Uzziah. Now, in 2 Chronicles chapter 26, verse 15, this is a very powerful story. 2 Chronicles 26, verse 15. Now, the Bible says, now this guy was so great. Now, the Bible says, he made in Jerusalem engines invented by cunning men to be on towers and upon bulwarks to shoot arrows and great stones without. Nobody had done this before him. When divine help is at work, God sends people into your life to help you expand what you are doing. This was the king. Now, the Bible didn't say he did it himself. He said that he brought in men who invented a machine that could shoot stones as old as that time. And now the Bible says something. Because of their machine that no other kingdom had. The Bible says, 
and his name spread abroad, far abroad. For he was marvelously helped till he was strong. I love details that you see in the Bible. Number one, he brought men. God gave him men to walk with him. They achieved something that was strange in their time. And the Bible said that his name went everywhere. And the Bible gave the reason for he was marvelously helped. Can you lift up your hand this morning and ask for marvelous help? Lord, help me. You see, you might have a vision. You have an idea. You have a project. You have whatever is standing before you. But without a marvelous help, some men must come in to let things work. Some men must come in to give power to your vision. Some men must come in to cause it to rise. If we don't pray, you can't go look for them by yourself. You might bring in wrong people. But you can ask for divine help, which will lead to divine helpers coming into your life. Somebody pray this morning. Your name also can spread in what to do. Your name can spread in your area of interest. If marvelous help is granted you, if men are sent to you, and that's our prayer. Lord, in the name of Jesus, help me. Send help. Assist me divinely. Raise men in the name of Jesus Christ. Somebody pray. Ask him for that help. Let it be your testimony this week that God himself raising men and sending them to you in the name of Jesus Christ. See, I want to read something from Psalm 20. David praying this prayer, and this is beautiful. Now he said that the Lord heard in the day of trouble, and the name of the God of Jacob defend thee. He said, May he send you help from sanctuary and strengthen you out of Zion. The name of God of Jacob defend thee. May he send you help. Oh, we all need it. We need right people in your network. You need it. And God himself can assemble this thing. When David was moving from wilderness to wilderness, God sent men to help him until he became king also. Men came into his life. The Bible says every day men were joining David until he became like the host of the Lord. Whether you are a minister watching me, ministry, business, whatsoever, private life or personal life, Without divine helpers all around you, it is so difficult to achieve anything. That's why we are praying this direction today. You have come up with what you want to do, but you need divine helpers to assist you. People must carry that vision with you. People that will interpret your mind correctly must come into your life. And they are usually prayed in. Again, lift up your head one more time. Say, Lord, send me divine helpers. Send them into my life. Send them into everything that I do. In the name of Jesus Christ. This morning I pray for everybody watching or listening to me. In Jesus' name. May the Lord raise divine helpers for you. Genuine men and women. Who oh, will uphold your hand. Who oh, will take what to do to another level. In the name of Jesus Christ. May the Lord send you help from sanctuary. May the name of the Lord God of Jacob defend you. May your name also spread because you have received marvelous help. In the name of Jesus Christ. You are the blessed of the Lord. May the Lord cause his face to shine upon you. Keep praying this prayer all through the week. This is Mercy Moments on a beautiful Monday morning. I'm Shalosh Magdalene. Till I come your way again, God is good and his mercy endures forever. Amen. Thank you for joining us on Mercy Moments today. To watch previous episodes of Mercy Moments with Pastor Shola, please follow us on all our social media platforms. God bless you.